So of course I'm paying attention to the symptoms of PTSD. And in the early phase, helping the person over there feel I'm making progress. Some things are getting better. But, but it's really all about their um, evolution toward a self that they can be confident in. Yeah, so what are some of the various components you're attending to? Well, the first is education. Uh, most people with PTSD nowadays have heard about it, but they still don't fully understand it. And I, I ask, what do you know? And have you read? And, and I can't think of a patient who has told me, oh, I know all about it. I don't need to know more about it. There's, there's a real appetite for learning. And, and sometimes, certainly in the early days, I used to take out the DSM. It was a green book at that time. And we'd be both reading the green book. Mm -hmm. And I remember this frail woman from the south of Lansing who had been raped at gunpoint. And she looks up at me and she says, that's me in that book. Oh. Now I know it's real. Now I know it's real. And part of it is knowing it's real, but beyond that, it's knowing what the reality is. And you might feel like validated. Validated. They're not going and, crazy. And understood. Uh -huh. Oh, it's, it's there. It's real. You know, they're saying, it's not in my mind. Well, it, that's what the mind is. It is a, a, a change in the capacity and the function of the mind. Uh, but yes, it's validating and it's instructive. I think when you, as the person with PTSD, have a handle on PTSD, you know when you're getting better, you know when something is a PTSD phenomenon. Uh, and because you're working with a person who's been there a thousand times before, you, you have reason to have some confidence that we're on the path. We're on the right path. This is getting better. All right. So you educate them about PTSD, yes. and that in itself is helpful. And, 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 and I say that's the first part. Yeah. But then it, there's educating about health and physical fitness. Uh, and certain parts of, of becoming healthy and staying healthy that are in all of the checkout counter magazines. but. PTSD patients forget about. They forget about shopping for good food. They don't like to shop. Uh, agoraphobia, fear of the marketplace, mm -hmm. a, a, an aversion uh, to being out in the store. That's part of the disorder. It's not a named part. Agoraphobia isn't in the diagnosis. But lots of people with PTSD avoid going to the store. Right. Uh, and they don't necessarily eat well. They, they don't have a good breakfast. And I, so, so attending to some basic things, eating, attending, exercise, well, yes, sleep. To a, exact, excuse me, exactly. Mm -hmm. Physical fitness uh, doesn't necessarily mean uh, becoming a bodybuilder, mm -hmm. but certainly walking or swimming, if, if that's what you can do. That helps what, deal it, with some of the anxiety, it helps, discharge some of the energy. And it helps with uh, having a better sense of self and mastery of self. And it helps prevent disease because a person is at risk for physical disease in a, in a deteriorated state. So again, I don't make too much of this, uh -huh. but I inquire about health habits. And for me, the second part after education is uh, just general fitness, good health, good eating. And then I usually move toward an assessment of a person's humor and spirituality. 